Hi, kindergartners, it's Miss Ishu. I'm here to teach you about cylinder today. It's a solid shape. Come learn with what me. a cylinder looks like. If you take a look at the top of the cylinder, it's a circle. So the base of the cylinder is a circle. You cannot see it in the picture, but at the bottom of the cylinder, it's also a circle. Now this cylinder has two circle bases and the sides of the cylinder are rounded. I'm going to teach you how to make a cylinder. Come do it with me. I have this from my bathroom at my house. It's from the toilet roll. So maybe you can use this or maybe from the paper towels in the kitchen. Now, what's really cool about the cylinder is that it has space in the middle. You could see that I'm putting my fingers in there, my as many as I can, and there's space in there. It's a solid shape. That means it's not flat like this circle. It's flat like this. But this cylinder is a solid shape, so that means that it has space in between the shape. Now, remember I was telling you that the cylinder has a base that is a circle? I made two circles. I just kind of traced them like this with my um, pen or pencil, and then I used the scissors, and I... I'm going to use tape that I have at home and I'm going to just tape because I want to make a cylinder. So I'm just going to use tape to tape two circle bases on my, my cylinder shape. There's one. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use my tape. And now I'm going to take it and put it on top just like that. Well, look at that. Miss Ishu just made a cylinder. And let's test it out. Can it roll? If you put it on the side, it can roll. Yes, it can. Can it roll if I put it like this? No, it cannot, but it stands still. See? Cool. I want to go on a cylinder hunt. Come so with me. So I'm walking around in my house, and I went into my kitchen, and look what I found. I found a cylinder. Check it out. This Clorox wipe is a cylinder, the container. You know why? Because it has the circle base. And at the bottom, it has a circle base, so two bases. And if I open it up, it, it has space, so it's a solid shape. And it has rounded sides, just like my cylinder. Let's wow. see if I can find some more cylinders in my kitchen. I'm going to check my pantry. Oh, wow! This can is a cylinder. It has a circle base, a circle base, and round sides. There you have it. Maybe you have a can of beans or any kind of can in your house. That's a, an example of a cylinder. It's a solid base. I'm continuing my hunt in my house for cylinders, and I'm going to go to my bathroom. Let's see if I can find a cylinder there. I'm in my bathroom trying to find a cylinder, and oh, look! What do you know? This is a cylinder right here. It's a container and it keeps cotton balls in there. And look, it has a, a circle base, a circle base, and the sides are round. No corners here, they're round. I'm cool. continuing my hunt in my house. This time I went to my bedroom and what do you what do you see? I see a cylinder I there. Actually too. see lots of cylinders here. If you look at all these 3 4 5 items, 
two of them are cylinders. This one is not a cylinder, although it has a round um, base at the top. The round, it, there's no round base there, so that's not a cylinder. No round base here. That's not a cylinder. My water, mm, not straight. The sides have to be straight sides. But look at this, this hairspray. Round, round, and, and the sides are round. Circle base, circle base, round edges. This is not a cylinder. But check this out. This is a cylinder, circle, base, circle, base, and round. Even though they're different sizes, they're still cylinders. Thanks for learning the solid shape cylinder with me. I hope you can make a cylinder and I hope that you can go ahead and search for cylinders in your home.